23.5 million children nationwide ride a school bus each day and five to six school children die in bus crashes every year. That's according to the UT Southeastern Transportation Center. Now the NTSB recommends new school buses have three point safety belts. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin takes a deeper look inside that issue. Sean. Robin John Keith Duncan is a fully trained bus driver and also in charge of Morgan County's transportation. He says seatbelts would make a driver's job even harder, especially in a bus evacuation situation. Five children were killed when a bus overturned and hit a tree in Chattanooga in 2016. Two students and a teacher's aide were killed in Knoxville in a crash in 2014. Since that tragedy, a WBIR 10 News investigation searched for answers for the 20,000 children across Knox County who rely on the 350 school buses to get them safely to class. We traveled to D.C. to talk to investigators two years ago. They were adamant your child is safe on a school bus without a seatbelt. Now, there's a new recommendation to add seatbelts. Anytime we have a bus, we've had two this year that's caught on fire. They've been minor fires but there's nothing good ever comes out of that. Working County Transportation Director Keith Duncan says the idea of seat belts on buses is concerning. Young pre-K kids, kindergarten kids, getting all of them off a bus and keeping them organized in a safe location, that's real hard to do. Duncan says the seat belts would delay an evacuation. David Clark at UT Center for Transportation Research agrees. He says studies show students don't always use belts, even if they're taught to use their belts in their parents' car. When they're first told to use them, there's a pretty high um, compliance rate. But generally, as time passes, the kids get more and more lax about using them. When students climb into their seats, they're surrounded by pads, like a padded cocoon. So even though the buses don't have seat belts right now, they're still safe. They're safe. The NTSB agrees, but also shares simulations like this one to show what happens when there are no restraints in the rare side impact crashes like the one in Knoxville. Animations like that are one reason why State Representative Joanne Favors pushed for legislation to put seatbelts on all buses in Tennessee. You cannot put a price on a child's life and an adult, no lives. It's important to note right now, this is just a recommendation. Clark says there's a lot of emotion tied to the argument, and lawmakers are going to have to decide if taxpayer money is worth the seatbelt costs. Robin, John. All right, Sean, thank you.